never decided or we never wanted to, to start a Russian group. Christian uh, uh, and myself, Christian, my business partner and myself, we always wanted to start um, our own little Russian, a little place to call home, to be able to take care of uh, our guests and, and make sure that people will be looked after. I think some of the biggest challenges that we have to face is uh, certainly um, staffing in Hong Kong is difficult. Um, especially when you need to fly uh, a lot of uh, management from uh, abroad. Um, I believe uh, that the continuous uh, seasonality in Hong Kong and how the business keeps on transforming in this city uh, is important, but without doubt, the biggest one would be competition. Hong Kong is one of the most dynamic cities in the world when it comes to the FMB business, and uh, you have to get uh, better. The ideas that are binding all these restaurants is we want to recreate places that we wish we would have visited here in Hong Kong. Right? So when we are starting uh, designing one restaurant, Christian and myself, we are always thinking of what we feel is missing in Hong Kong right? and how we can reproduce this. A, a dream of ours would be uh, traveling or having the opportunity to go internationally with uh, our concepts because we believe Hong Kong today is one of the most important capitals when it comes to food and beverage business. So I would say that the biggest uh, accomplishment for us would be to remain consistent, uh, which is a very, very important accomplishment in FMB, and to be able to travel with our ideas. When we are um, building restaurants, we always do it with uh, the end goal of mine of delivering a full experience, which means design, music, what you can see, what you can taste, what you can smell, right? So we believe that for achieving what we are doing, it would be incomplete if the only thing that we are delivering is food, right? So we are no part of the food uh, delivery. Because when you are going to a restaurant, you are not paying only for the food, right? Uh, if all you pay is for the food, you can go to the supermarket and have a great steak. When you go to a restaurant, you pay for, for the full package, right? So I think that one thing stays the same always, which is the curiosity. People are very curious in Hong Kong and are very well traveled and very sophisticated. I think we have one of the most spoiled clientele in the world for good reasons, because the people in Hong Kong are very well traveled. Um, food is very important to this culture, uh, not only because Cantonese food, of course, is uh, an absolutely amazing uh, cuisine, but because people are very open-minded. There's very few cities in the world that they can eat equally Thai or Spanish or Cantonese or Italian or Japanese is part of our normal routine. Hong Kong, as we say, is very demanding and uh, Hong Kong don't want to listen what uh, Hong Kong wants. Hong Kong wants to tell you what Hong Kong wants, right? So it's so important to get to listen what people like in here. People are eating in a completely different manner in Hong Kong. Uh, obviously, uh, you have seven to eight million people eating outside home every day, right? Uh, whereas in, in Europe, maybe you eat two or three times uh, a week, if you are lucky, maybe one or two for lunch and one for dinner. Here in Hong Kong, because the spaces we have in our homes, we are all eating outside. And we always say that you go to a restaurant because of the food, you come back because of the service, right? So potentially I would say number one is food. You need to have good food, period. If you're a restaurant, that's what you are doing, selling good food. Second of all, you need to make people feel great, and you do through service, right? Number three, potentially, will be uh, marketing, making sure that people are coming, and then creating a very good environment. 